Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Tech. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of like an unboxing and overview of the Chromecast. Now I know you guys seen a lot of reviews of it, so you kind of know what it's about. So I'm not going to be doing a review on it since it's so common. However, if you don't know what it is, let, let me catch you up to speed. It's basically an HDMI USB, you would say, that goes behind your television. And of course, it has a wire that you connect into your television or through a power outlet to, of course, power it. And it's all powered by Google and you can connect it from your device to the TV and basically stream it kind of like the Apple TV in a way. But this one, you basically just port whatever display is on your device or on your computer or basically any tablet. It works good on Google tablets because this is the Chromecast created by Google. Now showing you guys a quick tour around the box, you will see the actual Chromecast, which is pretty small from the front of the box. It says Chromecast, the easiest way to watch online videos on your TV. So it pretty much explains it there on the side. You guys can see that it says plug in, connect and watch. So it's a three easy step process. Other than that, you got Chrome, YouTube, and Netflix, as well as uh, the Google Play Store, in which you can use those to share videos or anything that is visual on your device to any TV that you have. Of course, it has to have an HDMI port on the TV. Now, the good thing is that it works for Android, iOS, and Windows computer, and even Mac, the one that I have behind me. Other than that, that's pretty much what's around the box. Now, when you open it, you get the quick, easy process. When which is pretty easy. You plug into your TV, make sure it's either plugged in from the USB to the TV so it can give it power. And it also comes with an extender inside the box in which it allows you to save your TV, has an HDMI, which it can't really fit the whole USB. Well, you can get the extender, put that on, and it just spreads it out and gives you a little bit more connection space if the USB is far from the outlet from the wall or from the other side of the TV using the USB. Now the second thing you want to do is switch to the input which is HDMI of course because it is an HDMI USB. However after that the setup process is pretty self-explanatory. You go to google.com slash chromecast slash setup and it walks you through all the process. You guys will get through it pretty easy. It recognizes the device allows you to name your Chromecast and then connects to your network. Now, if you have any problems, um, it might be something with your router. Say if your access point is enabled, you may want to disable that while going through your router settings. All you have to do is find that on the back of the router, but that's if you're having any issues. Now, other than that, you get a power brick inside of it, as well as the USB and the extender for the HDMI and, of course, the Chromecast itself. And you get pretty much like a warranty and paper, some literature in there as well. Anyway, that's pretty much in the box, and that's an overview of the Chromecast. So if you guys didn't know what it was, now you guys know. And the great thing about it is it doesn't cost that much like the Apple TV. Not, not saying that the Apple TV is not good because the Apple TV can do a little bit more than this. Um, the Apple TV is, of course, a price at like 99 and this one is priced at 35 I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will leave the cheapest price in the description so you guys can check it out on Amazon. And that's pretty much going to do it. Anyways, that was a quick unboxing and overview of the Chromecast. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to hit me up on my social networks. Links all in the description below, as well as that like button. So feel free to click it. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? So guess I'll catch you guys on my next upload. See you.